All right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So this is Cyber Dark Week. So for card review, we're going to be looking at Cyber Dark cards for both today and Wednesday. And for Fake Card Friday, we're going to be looking at a fake Cyber Dark card. So let's not waste any more time. We're looking at two cards today and two cards on Wednesday. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. So starting it off, we are looking at Cyber Darkness Dragon. Oh wow, new Cyber Dark Fusion, and instead of being Cyber Dark Dragon, it's Cyber Darkness Dragon. Like, how come that name just seems like it would be a fake name? Like, it's just so simple, just a little bit. Oh, instead of dark, it's darkness. All right, sure, whatever, Konami. Anyway, it is a dark machine fusion effect monster, level 10, with 2,000 attack and 2,000 defense. So, it's just a little bit stronger than Cyber Dark Dragon, you know, just uh, just a thousand, thousand, just a little bit higher. But it needs a lot more materials, so it needs five, five Cyber Dark Effect Monsters. That is a lot. And of course, since it is Cyber Darkness Dragon and not Cyber Dark Dragon, uh, the name specific, no, you cannot summon it with Cyber Dark Impact, which, yeah, you know, you know, at least Future Fusion is legal, so you can go ahead and Future Fusion, and hopefully if it gets off, you can go ahead and, you know, even just the first effect to send the material to the girl would be nice because you still got overload fusion. Remember, this is a dark uh, machine type monster. You can't overload fusion. So those are two ways that you can definitely summon this card. But let's see if it's actually worth it. So let's look at the effect. So the effect reads, must first be fusion summoned. If this card is special summoned, you can equip one dragon or machine type monster from your graveyard to this card. This card gains attack equal to the original attack of the equipped monster to it by this effect. So at least that's a better and a little bit different from just regular Cyber Dark Dragon is that it doesn't have to be a dragon. It can be a dragon, but it can actually be a machine as well. So, you know, that was always one of the issues with the deck is that you kind of had to throw in the machines with some dragons. So, you know, the Cyber Darks have some dragon to equip to it or Cyber Dark has a dragon to equip to it, but this can also equip machines. So that's actually good as well. Now, while it first must be special summon, uh, fusion summon, it can be special summon. So once it's fusion summon and it dies, goes together, you can go ahead and go activate Call of the Haunted, summon this back, and use this effect. Because if this card is special summon, you can go ahead and equip. So that's actually pretty good as well. But that's not it. That's not it. You're thinking, okay, that's it. You know, uh, it's a little bit stronger than Cyber Dark Dragon. It can equip machines and dragons. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit be uh, bigger because it's 2,000 on top of the dragon and machine instead of just 1,000 on top of the dragon. But no, this card actually has another effect as well. So, when your opponent activates a card or effect, click effect, so during the player's turn, you can send one equipped card you control to the graveyard, negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So, yes, I mean, that definitely makes it seem worth it, the fact that you kind of have, like, a Quasar-esque effect that, you know, during the player's turn, when the card effect is activated, now just send this equip, negate that, and destroy it. And it doesn't even say, you know, a dragon or machine equipped to this. It just literally says if you control, you know, you can send one equipped card, you control the graveyard. So it could be a spell equipped to this. It could be, you know, something else equipped to something else. You know, it doesn't matter. You send an equipped card you control to the graveyard to negate that vision if you destroy that card. So it just seems like if you're going to be making this deck, maybe throwing the other equipped spells might be actually pretty good. Throwing a little bit of Mage Power or, you know, uh, United We Stand or maybe... Uh, you know, Moon Mirror Shield, there, there's, there's, you know, there's a good possibility of just being able to just send that equip to negate and destroy. So, uh, like I said, this guy is still kind of difficult to get out. Like I said, Cyber Dark Impact does not work. But like I said, if you get that Fusion Fusion, you get that Overload Fusion, then busting this guy out seems pretty good. Pretty good. All right. And not only did you just get the Cyber Darkness Dragon, but you also got a Field Spell and two monsters. We're going to be looking at the Field Spell now, and then the two monsters on Wednesday. So let's look at the Field Spell, which you wouldn't think that they would get a Field Spell, but let's go ahead and look at it. So this is Cyber Dark Inferno. I stated it's a Field Spell. So its effect reads, you cannot target Cyber Dark effect monsters you control equipped with equipped cards with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect either. So, pretty much a Cyber Dark monster that is equipped with a quip card. Doesn't even matter, you know. So, you know, you know, your little Cyber Darks that are equipped with something, or, you know, your Cyber Dark or your Cyber Darkness, they pretty much become magic practice, which is pretty good, pretty good, you know. 
the fact that I have my Cyber Darkness at 2000 plus the Dragon Machine equipped to it, that's a Quasar, plus this making it much better so you can't just, you know, throw a, uh, a Regeki or, you know, try to compulse me or I don't have to, you know, get rid of my equip to negate that uh, uh, is pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, it just, it doesn't prevent me from getting Kaiju, but, you know, that Cyber Darkness, you know, uh, negating that that's not once per turn so as long as I have equips I can just go ahead and keep unequipping sending the equip cards are good enough to keep negating and destroying so yeah and then this just makes my 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 uh, cyber darks even my little ones into magic specter so that's fine but this card has, has another effect so you can target one cyber dark monster you control return it to the hand then immediately after this resolve you can normal summon one cyber dark monster so pretty much just get my equip card back because of course you know my little cyber dark monsters that equip the dragons uh you know they can lose their equips and just return it back to their hand summon and then re-equip again so uh it's an interesting effect you know it's something that you can just go ahead and throw on and no one will be the wiser so that that's fine that's fine and then the last effect is uh you can only use this effect to cyber dark inferno once returns to so the whole return summon equip you know you would expect that but this is the last effect. <laughs> if this card you control is destroyed by opponent's card effect, ah, sucks. Has to be your opponent. And, uh, I mean, this card seems pretty good. You know, I, you're, I'm making my stuff magic specters, and you know, I'm, you know, returning and summoning and re-equipping after you just ripped off my material. So my equip material. So I know you want to kind of get rid of this card. But if you get rid of it, uh, opponent, this card destroyed by opponent's card effect. You can target one Palmerization spell card or one fusion spell card from your deck. And put it in your hand. All right, so that's where you can go ahead and start to get that future fusion, get that overload fusion. But of course, you know, there's not a lot of destroying background as of right now. Not a lot of people are playing Twin Tree Turrets more, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, so I'll just banish this. So rip on that. But still, just the fact that, you know, if my opponent wants to get rid of this, which it seems like they might want to, when now they're dealing with my Cyber Deck monsters who are now Magic Spectre, do they want to get rid of this? Just the fact that I can go ahead and search for a future fusion or an overload fusion is pretty good. It just sucks that it has to be your opponent's card effect. Like, if you could just go ahead and pop this, maybe we could talk. Maybe I would you know, give this card a higher thumbs up than I'm already giving. Like I said, right now, it's kind of, you know, it really is. Uh, you know, maybe I just expect a little bit more from my field spells nowadays. Like, for some reason, I thought maybe, maybe if this card was similar to, like, the ABC field spell, you know, where I can activate this search for a cyber dark and then when a cyber dark monster or someone i can equip a cyber you know a cyber dark from my deck to the monster you know something like that like similar to abc's that's what you would expect with this but no 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 but like i said there's nothing to complain about you your monsters become ad specters so you return them to to you get an additional normal summon immediately normal summon again to then re-equip and reapply but like i said that whole effect that's like oh when it's destroyed by opponent you get the search effect it's kind of like i said i wish i could just pop it myself and get the search but overall not bad i mean it's better than nothing which is definitely nothing which you would expect uh the archetype to get but hey konami seems like they're going back and giving uh these things new cards new support and just old archetypes so hey why not so i'm done I'm done so tell me what you guys think about cyber darkness dragon and cyber dark inferno in the comment section below so i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Oh my god, I almost said Craig Hyde. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. Of course, I'll be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. And I'll be back tomorrow with more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.